Lebanon was, in the 1950s, a postcard-perfect country offering stunning beauty and an ideal lifestyle. At this Beirut golden age, a nine-year-old boy stood out to embrace the fascinating world of fashion. As a very young boy, Eliward started working for a renowned tailor in Beirut. He learned how to take measurements, how to cut, and sew. He was 16 years old, only 16, when he opened his own atelier de couture. As sharp as a needle, he put all his talent and know-how in his designs, and soon enough, he had an impact on Lebanese couture at that time. This young man you're telling about is, uh, is my father. He's uh, Eliward, and I'm so proud to be his son. Elie's evening gowns and suits became a must-have for Lebanese high society women, and soon enough for foreigners too. He used to receive his clients, pen and paper in hand, start to sketch their ideas, and add his own personal touch, with the details making all the difference. I grew up uh, in his atelier, so I was always called to help uh, clean up, uh, take off the pins, uh, put some order in the, in the showroom. I used to see these beautiful ladies coming in and out, sometimes less beautiful, but always very elegant. I used to hear the machine voice, uh, the Arabic music, all this, uh, the ladies sewing and talking and uh, preparing new things, touching the material. It was a very exciting era. Watching his father create inspired young Tony. As soon as he was old enough, he made up his mind. Although his father was not keen on him going into fashion, Tony departed to Paris to study design. My father wasn't okay at all. He wanted me to pursue some other studies, medicine studies where I was called to be. And so I decided to leave, just close the door and even without his consent. Uh, with a couple of hundred dollars in my pocket, I had to start all over and try to find new solutions. In France, to make ends meet, Tony worked in Maison, Lanvin, and with Karl Lagerfeld at Chloé, as well as Gianfranco Ferré at Christian Dior. Working with these uh, designers uh, during the years taught me a lot. Very different uh, approach, very a different volume, uh, backgrounds, feelings, and uh, you know, the experience in Paris, the couture way, the old techniques. There's only one technique to do couture, and this technique was the one I was taught. And uh, dealing with the clients, being a Lebanese uh, person who spoke Arabic, was able to speak uh, also English. I had languages, was very easy for me, while for French people it was much more complicated. So I had the easy part of dealing with some Gulf clients and US clients, and this was really very interesting. And I felt that I was uh, collecting a lot of information, and at a certain moment, I was ready to kick off and start my new adventure and build my own brand. So when he completed his degree at the Chambre Syndicat de la Couture Parisienne, seven years later, he returned home to Beirut to create his first collection and launch Tony Ward Couture. Coming back to Beirut was a, a big surprise to me because I left with no consent, came back with uh, hugs and, uh, and a proud look. My father was 
I, do, I don't think any father would do what my father did that day. He was ready to step down, give me the space, and just be my backbone. He was ready to take off his name out of the door and put mine. I wasn't very comfortable with the idea until he was there and it was much easier for me to start with his presence around me. Being around him in Beirut, being around someone with his expertise, he had a facility of creating uh, of nothing, the piece, the jackets, when he used in half a day, he can just build a jacket, do the structure and build the whole thing. People around him would get really frustrated because they would need a week to do the same job. I love لي قبل الحرب كان عنده موظفين كتير يساعدوه بالشغل بس وقت علقت الحرب خاف يحمل مسؤولية الموظفين يروحوا ويجوا صفع ميشتغل لوحده ساعتها انجبرت انزل معه مع أني أنا حدا ما بحب الخياطة وشغل الإبرة وهالأشياء بس حسيت حالي مجبور أساعده وصفينا على طول بالشغل بيني وبينه ومنهار وقف أنا إلي 11 سنة بشتغل مع إلي ورد وطوني ورد على خاصة لأنه كنت أشتغل معه شخصياً لإلي ورد ببداياتي هو حداً مدرسة وكان إلي الشرف أنه تلمزت تحت إيده تعلمت منه الجاكات تعلمت منه الإبرة كتير تفاصيل ما حداً عنده إياها I was 23 years old with Mr. Eli Warren and I was married with Mr. Tony. Mr. Eli Warren was not in the same way. He was not in the same way or in the same way. He was in the same way because he wanted the job. He was very difficult and he was with the people and everyone loved him and loved him. These pieces were built from my father, Eli Ward. He did this years ago, and you can see they're still fresh, they're still new. I remember uh, a few years ago when I started to work in Beirut, some clients would come and say, wow, look at this, this is a jacket your dad did for my grandma, and I'm still wearing it. In 1997, it was our first show in Be Beirut. Um, they called 20 designers, 10 from France and 10 from Lebanon, to show um, in the center of Beirut. And it was the first show after the war. It was all still all uh, destroyed. Uh, it was a very beautiful experience for me. It was my first experience in Beirut. Encouraged by his first success, Tony Ward kept his momentum going. And in 2004, he presented his first show in the Italian capital. It was the place to be, a memorable milestone for Tony Ward Couture. After the events in Beirut, we headed to, uh, to the Gulf. We did a couple of shows and the shows were very exciting. We had a great return from our Gulf clients. But deep inside, I felt I had to do a bigger step and go more international. I sat with Anna, my wife, my partner in my business, and we had uh, an important uh, brainstorm between Paris or Rome. Rome was still a very important platform for the couture, uh, so Rome it was. The decision uh, was the right one because once we were there, we had an amazing event, we had great presence, was raining orders, uh, and it was the beginning of a, a new venture. From Rome, a lot of doors opened. We were uh, with the red carpet uh, in LA. Uh, we were in Miami a year after in New York. Things were getting uh, more complicated, but more easy at the same time, because 
we had some recognition being on an uh, international platform. By the next year, in 2005, Tony Ward Couture was awarded Lago di Oro, the Golden Needle Prize in the Italian capital of fashion. It's July 6, 11.30 a.m. Paris time. How did it get there? It was running really fast in all directions. Paris, New York, Milan, Los Angeles, Sao Paulo, Beirut. This is how the fashion house went international, from red carpet and celebrities to royal families. Tony Ward Couture collections caught the eye of women from around the world. I don't know where I go. In 2006, I took a step, a different step from a lot of designers. Um, I, uh, we had war in Lebanon. It was the, the, the year of the war and we were blocked in, in Rome. So I took my team and I flew to Moscow. And it was, I did a show in Moscow on the 7th of September. I remember that day. Uh, a few months later, I had my showroom open in uh, Moscow. I think I was the first Italian, European or Lebanese designer who opened the showroom, a couture showroom there. And then we opened our first uh, ready-to-wear shop and a second ready-to-wear shop. <music> Russia was a very important step in my, uh, in my career. And then we had China, we had uh, new frontiers opening for us. In 2008, he launched his ready-to-wear line to please the trendy women who jumped from desk to dinner. And by 2011, his bridal line became a fairy tale for every bride to be. But the turning point happened in 2014, the year Tony Watt Couture hosted his first fashion show in the frame of Paris Fashion Week. I did my first show uh, in Paris uh, at the Salomon de Rothschild one of the most beautiful spaces to do the shows. Uh, it was very important for me to go back to where I started, and I felt home. That's what I felt. Forward Magazine is the annual magazine for Tony Wedded. It was born from a desire of uh, clients, friends of the brand, to know more about the creative process, the behind the scenes, all what's uh, inside uh, the Tony Ward brand. And uh, forward, the name, it's a play on words between wedded and uh, forward, uh, from forward thinking, paying it forward, looking forward, fashion forward, all those beautiful expressions that uh, keep us, the brand, the team moving forward. To accompany um, the evolution of the brand, we were looking at the existing logo, which was a silhouette, a very beautiful silhouette, but we felt like it was not anymore representing the house as it was today. So we decided to uh, create a new logo. We felt like it's something that could accompany the brand, reflect our identity and stay with us for the future. By 2018, Tony Ward Couture inaugurated the Paris showroom at 1416 Rue de Faubourg Saint-Honoré. When they showed me one of the showrooms that was available, and I was a couple of steps far from the first place I worked in Paris at Lanvin. Uh, I loved it at the Faubourg Saint-Honoré. So we, we opened the showroom there. And this is where we received, we started receiving people from Mexico, from Brazil, from the Gulf, Arabic Gulf, from Australia. People were flying from everywhere. Paris is the hub for fashion. And being there is not something you can avoid. وجودنا بباريس اللي هي عاصمة الموضة كان كتير مهم فتح لنا باب صار عنده انترناشنال ويندو صار عنا اكسبوجر اكبر هالشي كتير ساعدنا لانه بنعرف كتير منيح انه باريس هي من المحلات اللي مقصودة من كل الفي اي بي كلاينتس بيجوا تو شوب بيج نيمز بيج براندز فكان وجودنا هونيك وبمحل من اهم الشوارع تبع التسوق بباريس شي كتير مهم لنا
They call me the architect of detail. I'm, I'm a person who's uh, very picky. I get a lot into the details. I like uh, modern art. I like to build a different construction in a dress, left different from right, with the volumes, with the details. I like structure. I like to build a dress as we build a house. And these details and this technique brought me to this point where people uh, see that I mix the romantic with the, with the lines, with the architectural volumes, which is a, really something very typical in my designs. The building straight lines become dress cuts. The geometric forms give birth to patterns. Tony Ward always tries to think out of the box. While trying to satisfy the taste of his clients, he creates collections that combine innovation and masterful cuts and lines. The decision of building the headquarters in Beirut came after the war in 2006. And I felt that a lot of people were, wanted to flee, just leave all the mess that we have here. I felt I have to do a step more. It was a long journey. The choice of the architect and the choice of tous les mètres carrés pratiquement étaient, devaient être en conformité avec l'image que Tony voulait euh, de son travail qui était de plus en plus international. Donc euh, élégance, pureté, minimalisme et euh, une idée dès qu'on rentre de refinement mais grandiosité discrète. And this is how the architectural details seen in Tony Ward's designs are also seen in his all-in-one headquarters in Atelier Workspace in the heart of Beirut. And this is how the two strategies were to design the building. The first was to reduce the design of the design and to reduce the building with the design of 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 the design. And this is how the collection of the design of the design of the product that is used. أو من من نتصرف بشكل متواضع أكثر ومن نخف معماريا وهيك بتكون الهندسة تبعنا تبع المبنى الفوند السند الكولكسيون يلي هي عم تتغير عبر كل السنة. This is how Tony took Eli Ward's label and put it on the Paris Fashion Week calendar, creating seven collections a year for couture, ready to wear, and bridal. Drawing inspiration from contemporary architecture. The architect of detail has been able to build upon his father's craftsmanship. Achievements? Yes, they made so many, but they also had to take up challenges. So many challenges. The commercial strategy that we were working on was cut in a few years because of the pandemic. We were able to make a switch to a new strategy to be fast because the world in general took a new direction. And here we saw that we were able to move forward online, which was very difficult for us because of the products of our products. It was very difficult to buy online as a price point, as a detail in this couture that we were working with the clients. The couture that we were working with the clients. قدرنا نقدم ليفل عالي من الكلاينت سيرفيس من الفاسيلتيز يعني حولنا هالاكسبيرينس يلي كانت فيزيكال والعالم عود عليها لشيء فيرتشوال وبالعكس مبسوطين فيه يعني جربنا ننقل لهم الاكسبيرينس تبعنا كتوني وورد كوتير لعندهم على البيت وبنفس الوقت نعيشهم نفس الشيء اللي كانوا يعيشوه لو هن كانوا رح يجوا لعنا The COVID-19 was a different story for us. We have to close our showroom because of the situation. And uh, we felt the need, we were hearing about the needs with the Hariri uh, hospital. They, they were collecting all these sick people from COVID. And they were in need of uh, bed sheets, of uh, masks, of uh, um, protection. So we opened our atelier and we started to produce these things. I was discovering how many grams you put in a bed sheet, how much temperature they can support. So we put our energy there. Fashion was at the service of the community. And we were every day sending bed sheets to this place with no return, with only the biggest return 
feeling really lucky to be able to be beside someone else. Two years into COVID-19, Tony Ward Couture has been able to navigate the pandemic. But the 4th of August explosion, which destroyed the Beirut port and most of the capital, was even more painful to bear. Tony Ward Couture, headquarters in Atelier, were all devastated by the blast. August 2020 was a very uh, sad, hard, but important moment in my life. Uh, it's like uh, receiving a slap in, in, a, in a way that I realized that things cannot be as they used to, and I have to look at life in a different way. It was tough, but it was very real. Arriving here and seeing uh, m most of my employees uh, down, crying, a lot of people with blood on their face, on their head, uh, everything destroyed. كثروت كانت كثير صعبة على العالم كله بشكل خاص كان على توني أكيد وهيدا وكله بعده مكمل وبعد 25 سنة توني شغل أكيد أنا فخورة فيه أنا فخورة بكل شيء عمله وبعده مكمل إن شاء الله بيضل مكمل تحدي هيدا تحدي تحدي مع وضعنا تحدي مع البلد je vois aussi une continuation en expansion, mais qui en même temps garde les valeurs qui ont toujours accompagné cette société dans la personne de Tony, comme le respect des employés et la, la personne humaine, au-delà de, de la réussite et, de, et du succès. She is a mother. A wife, a daughter, a client, a hard worker, a friend, an acquaintance, a muse. With more than 20 years up his sleeve, Tony Watt can proudly say that he has dressed affluent women as did his father 70 years ago. Today, Tony Watt Couture is distributed in more than 50 exclusive high-end boutiques and multi-brand stores worldwide. Twenty-five years uh, of work after his seventy years of legacy. Um, I just spent amazing twenty-five years discovering new things. I'm really very excited to see uh, what is next, what is hidden for me tomorrow. It's, uh, the excitement is still here, and. I'm, I'm just ready for it. <laughs>